Skill on items. Okay, so it is an item skill. It's not a passive skill. Darn it. I was hoping I'd be able to just equip something and watch my damage increase exponentially. Hardy, 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 har. Three, four. Oh, there's only three stacks of that uh, brooding skill. No, oh, no, there's snake people. It's not a strange fetish. Shut up. Oh god, more of these bastards. That would not be wise. Oh wow. The health link guys are cool when you kill them all at once. It looks really cool. Yes, I do remember your gems, but your gems have to do with critical hit damage, not critical hit chance. Once again, for those who can't see the stream chat, or watching this on like the YouTube channel, talking to XO7 in the stream. We found Pool's archives. I'll try to. I don't like. I don't like when you when you watch a stream and the streamer spends his time responding to. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't like it when the streamer spends his time responding to stuff in the chat. Like it's cool that he's responding to his viewers, he or she. But I don't like it when they're responding without actually talking. So whenever I actually respond to somebody in the chat, I really like to to preface by stating the question or stating the statement. Just putting it out there so that people who don't have access to the chat, people who watch it later, or people who are watching it, you know, unlike unlike the Xbox One app, they don't. Uh, the they they still get the full the full conversation. Or the full conversation as I have it. Freed Bale, who then corrupted the World Stone to devastating effect for the barbarians who live near Mount Ariat. The heroes killed Bale shortly Oh God! That guy was just doing some dumb Star Wars kid shit to me. Spinning around and stuff. You ain't got shit. You ain't shit, bitch. You can't handle my turrets, bitch. Yeah, Kane was cool. He was really cool in the first two games. If you think about it, though, with the way they did the audio logs and stuff in this game, they really replaced what Kane was useful for with the audio logs, though. So even though Kane doesn't, you know, exist anymore in a lore or in in the game's lore, you're still getting you're still getting his his use in the game, which is giving you backstory on everything. Because with those audio logs, I mean, that's all the audio logs are is backstory, and some of it's even you know in Kane's voice, like the one we just listened to. So. Like, that was the whole reason Kane. well, I mean, there's other blah, blah, blah story reasons Kane was in the second game. But, I mean, they kind of replaced Kane with the audio logs and Tyrael. Because Tyrael, you know, he's this ageless angel who's now immortal. And uh, he can pretty much give you background on all the shit. And he doesn't have to give you, like, a second-hand account. He can be like, yeah, I was there when we fought that fucking demon. He was a real bitch. Whoa! Gift from Ozbaz. First of all. Second of all, we got some legendary gloves. That's our secondary le second legendary pickup this playthrough, which is cool. All right. Let's, uh... When there are five or more enemies within 12 yards, you gain an absorb shield equal to 20% of your max life for six seconds. That's neato. Reduces the cooldown. That's importante. All right, badass. Let's continue on. Hey, I wanted to talk to you, uh, Tony, actually, because um, I was going to suggest you maybe work on a hardcore character. 
um, and get them up to 70 as fast as you can, because if I get this character to 70, I'm going to run grifts until the character dies, and I'm only going to do it on stream, so if you want to be a part of that, then by all means do it, otherwise no big deal, it would be fun. Instead of having you talking shit in the, uh, the stream chat, having you actually talking shit to me in the game would be pretty funny. Hardy hardy har. <laughs> this feels like an event, but it's not, apparently. Let's just stand here and take the dick from these rock- oh, fuck me! Not enough hatred. Blow him up! Do I know about Akame Ga Kill? Is what Tony is asking in the chat. No, I do not. What is that? What is it? Is it a delicious type of sandwich you're gonna make for me, bastard? You non sandwich making ass ass summon them a bitch. Yo, speaking about making stuff. My wife made more brownies last night, so yeah! More fresh ass ass brownies, son. Game of Thrones anime. No, I haven't heard of that. You wanna, you wanna describe what's going on with that? So Game of Thrones is just getting it in everything now, right? Game of Thrones is the new Walking Dead. They have a Telltale game. They have actually another game. So same as yeah, Walking Dead, because Walking Dead had a first a shitty first-person shooter game and a Telltale game. Game of Thrones has a bad old RPG for the Xbox 360 and a damn uh, Telltale game. Um, I think they have a comic spin-off. I guess they're getting an anime, blah, blah, blah. That's funny. That. Man, fuck that. I don't want to be in there. Yeah. Yeah, y'all ain't got shit. Ooh, that's a slightly better weapon. Actually, it's not better overall. I'm not too worried about switching. Oh my, but it has a, a socket. If I had some good green gems, I would actually consider switching to that. Although early game, early game equipping uh, red gems is more important uh, for character damage output. And then switching to green gems once you hit later levels, like once you're in the late 60s to 70, and once you start getting Paragon points, that's when the green gems start to really, really matter. It kind of doesn't matter too much. Um, or I should say, with the uh, with the uh, Demon Hunter's dependency on dexterity, green gems are more important for non-weapon items, but the actual weapon item needs a... Uh, there we go, pop that shit up. Um, no, red gems and weapons are more important in early game, and then once you get to late game, that's when the green gems become a, a real boon. Because once you, once you hit a point, you hit a point where your weapons, no matter what weapon you get at 70, doesn't do too much more damage than a weapon you previously has. Like you, has, have. Like you basically start hitting a weapon damage tier, for lack of a better term. And then at that point, it's like, well, I need weapons that either increase my attack speed or weapons that increase my critical hit chance. And socketed weapons give you the opportunity to equip those, uh, you know, those green gems that increase your critical hit damage. And then once you get your critical hit chance up, it kind of exponentially increases your damage output late game. So... It's super important to... Not that just. Would not be wise. Oh shit. Anyways, it is super important to not. Or two more green gems. The other gems, not so much. The green gems, yeah, very important. For every class later on in the game. Ooh. 
Much better. Bam, 55. I like it. Yo, I like that. Oh man, like I'm trying to pay attention to the to the, the stream chat, but there's a boss that opened up a you know hole in the ground, and I like holes. Cave of Burrowing Horror. I love that name. Okay, so is it an anime based on Game of Thrones, or is it an anime that has Game of Thrones elements to it? Explosions. Like the green aura I get when I vault. I'm still waiting. Yeah, buddy. Y'all ain't got shit. Oh, those turrets are such a satisfying thing. Okay, it's an anime with Game of Thrones elements. Isn't anything with drama a thing with Game of Thrones elements? Or are you just talking about the main character like dies right in the beginning of the thing and then you have to have new main characters kind of talk about what we're talking about here in the chat XO7 in the chat is trying to tell me about Akame Ga Kill which is apparently some anime with Game of Thrones styled elements to it that is impossible. I don't know shit about it, I'm just... Oh, okay, so the main character dies constantly. Are you referring to all you need is kill? Are you? Ooh, experience pool. My no, hatred is too low. low. Yeah. Get the turrets going, son. Hmm. <laughs> it popped up right in the turrets and ate shit. What do you mean, what? You've never heard of all you need is kill? I don't think Tony's ever heard of All You Need Is Kill. Let's see. You've never heard of it? Okay, it's that, it's the, it's the, the manga that that movie, uh, that Tom Cruise movie, Edge of Tomorrow, or whatever the fuck it is, is based off of. It's a cool story about a guy who time loop and he's stuck in a war against these ridiculous fucking alien things. And every time he dies, he basically... It's like Groundhog Day, but in an anime... Uh... Like, alien war thing. And basically, he just becomes better and better over time. And he bangs some American Russian chick. Which is great. <laughs> Yeah, it's creepy anime Groundhog Day with uh, with mecha suits. You would probably really like it. It's not the same as the stupid suits from the Tom Cruise movie either that, you know, are super exposed so that you can see Tom Cruise. It's like straight up fucking power armor. You'd really like it, I think. Ah, I'm stuck in a corner! Leading shrine, yeah, it can move faster. I want to see Tom Cruise star in a Kill la Kill adaptation. Where Tom Cruise is wearing the fucking suit, and it's, you know, 
all up in his ass. <laughs> Shut up, it's funny to me.